Well, we got no pot to blaze it, but I guess we got a trail. Four twenty Yellow Swag Trailblazers. Yeah, that's it's twenty nine ninety nine Yellow Swag man. Ooh, that's this is from uh, Super Super Gonk. It's developed on the Unity engine. You can pick it up for the aforementioned twenty nine ninety nine. Unless you're in Canada, then you're paying thirty five bucks for this game. <laughs> Because fuck Canada. <laughs> so what, what? what is it? Trailblazers is an innovative cooperative racer with groundbreaking on-track gameplay. Race in teams up to three versus three. Players paint the track to create the base, best racing line, then use the paint to boost up to insane speed. Drive with flair, woo! And style to gain skill points and blaze your way to victory. Man, now no, no, I just want to smoke with dupe. God damn it. Anyways, uh, the fine folks at Rising Star Games sent us some keys for this. Thank you very much. And we're going to subject it to the Chairquisition. What's that? It's where we take a game and we uh, play it. We talk about it and we do a little quality assurance that maybe they should have done before putting it on sale for 35 Canadian dollars. Anyways, we do this by going to the uh, Chairquisition slide. One chair means it's garbage, which is like an F grade, I guess. Two chairs means that it's okay, which is... Or, which is, I guess, not quite a decrease. One through like four, baby. It's, it's pretty simple. We do this every week. Yeah. And we have yeah. some categories one, one of four. doing I, Yeah. Uh, yeah, mixed with the working, shiny sounds, controls, and fun. Uh, so let's uh, kick this off. Then, uh, this game had some interesting issues getting up and running. Didn't it? If by issues you mean it's fucking busted. Now, it's, <laughs> keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is slightly less busted than it was when it originally released because they threw out a patch, like, right over the line right at the last minute on friday um on humbuntu 6 17 uh running that with a 980 nvidia business uh ryzen 7 uh still broken after this patch man so i was wondering you can see pedro's not painting but when i'm driving around everything gets painted and this is the mm. big mechanic of this game because you know that's how you get your boost that's how you get your boost on I noticed that my boost is a regular. Went to the forums and I'm like, oh yeah, it's a rendering bug. It looks like you're always painting, so you can't tell. You can't tell where the track is actually painted or not. And this comes into effect later on in the game. I'll bring that up. Latest patch did not fix it on my end. That kind of sucks. Uh, let's see. What did they fix? Okay. Up until Friday, it did not save your progress and it did not save your resolution settings. It now saves your progress. One out of two is not bad. It lies to you, and it, you think it saves your resolution settings, but it doesn't. It just max defaults as soon as you go into the game. Whatever your highest resolution is available. Um, that's a thing, which is kind of irritating if you want to play it at 1080p because I have an old crusty 980. I don't have this new 1080 hotness that the other kids have, so I can only play it at 1080p to maintain my 60 FURPS. Uh, let's see, performance, speaking of that, solid 60, everything on 11 at 1080p, what you would expect at 30 at 2160. So I'm going to say, even with the main mechanic busted, you can still fuck around and have a little bit of fun with it, and I can technically get things running. I'll throw it a solid 2, that's best I can do. Yeah, inconsistent boost. Uh, if you're suffering from inconsistent boost, please go consult your doctor, and maybe some pills you can <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, everything, the, the, the aforementioned bugs that Ven was talking about were present up until Friday. I'm, I am running into that issue where it will constantly paint your track, regardless of whether or not you're hitting the A button or not. So that's enough to ding it a chair. I forgot to do that in the show notes. I'll do that right now. Derp. And, uh, yeah, on, uh, Fedora 28, 64-bit with the i7 6700K and the GTX 1080 Ti, this thing damn well better get 60 fps at uhd and it does otherwise otherwise i'm gonna be i'm gonna be mad at you game at, at this point if i'm not getting awesome performance out of your game guys you 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 have fucked up there is no more excuses there i'll give this i'll give it uh, three chairs yeah Pedro. well uh the patch on friday fixed the issues i was having which was the game not saving my progress yes the game released without the ability to save the progress that you've made, but they fixed that. And they also fixed the uh, whatever stupid resolution the game was defaulting to, because on my end, it's just, oh, you have a 1080p screen? Boom, full screen 1080. That's all I want. I don't ask for much. Well, I do, but whatever. Uh, over here on Solus 3, 9996. Ironically, uh, it, it would be fucking Solus that this thing runs right on. It, uh, yeah, it runs pretty good with the gtx 1080 and the ryzen 5 1600 so four chairs for me hmm. well that's three chairs for mix with the working 
How about shiny and sounds? I, you know, what? cell shading really does help hide a lot of the flaws in the visuals. And this game actually does look pretty nice while it's whooshing around. Um, the soundtrack has some love, and I kind of nuked that right away because it was not doing anything for me. I threw a podcast in the background. Mm-hmm. Yeah, wickety, wickety. What? Anyways, uh, the character designs are all unique, um, though a lot of the dialogue, oh man, there. this is a dialogue freaking heavy racing game. It's a uh, dialogue heavy with, like, without any voice this. acting. Mm-hmm. This is this is also true. It's what you look for in a what, racing what is game. This pill- now, what is this? Pillars of Eternity 1? Am I right? <laughs> High five? No? No? <laughs> Anyways. Um, so, I mean, that that that's all competently done. Like, there there was definitely some effort put into this. I'll give it a solid three cheers for that. Yeah. Pedro? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's... Uh, well, I can, in spoilers, I will leverage a lot of criticism at this game, but the graphics look nice. Uh, they do. It's... Uh, well, they look nice if you're just wishing along. The moment you hit something or one of the opponent's ships hits you, there's a lot of jank to those animations. Uh, it's um, it's It could be better, is what I'm saying, for uh, 30 pounds, because they actually priced it, but more on that later. But for 30 pounds, I kind of expected a little bit better animations. The sounds are also on par with generic racing game 26,543,739 that you will find on Steam. It's basically an infestation at this point. It didn't particularly blow me out of the water. Yes, you can see things and you can hear things and you mostly hear grunts from the characters as the uh, dialogue goes along in the quote-unquote cutscenes. So, two chairs for me. It's thing, man. Look at it. It is cell shaded like the J-Man brought up. So if you ever wanted to know what would happen if Borderlands fucked a flying car, here it is. Right for you. I don't know why, but the soundtrack with the Wicked Wicked and all this bit, this is, it just straight up reminds me of the Sega Dreamcast. Uh, maybe just the late 90s in general with that business. Um, each character has like one or two things like, oh, ow, and like that, they just repeat ad nauseum. That genuinely caused me to nope the audio. That and up until the patch, you couldn't cut off the fucking soundtrack to this thing, which is short and necessarily not all that sweet. But hey, man, it doesn't look bad. I, I kind of like the art style. I'm digging that. Not much to say on Shiny and Sounds. I mean, nothing to ding it graphically unless you consider the game breaking mechanic, which is a graphical glitch that enters your further progression in the game. An issue, which I might. So I'll throw it a uh, solid three on that. All right, well, that's uh, two chairs for Shiny and the Sounds. Up next is Control. Pedro, Steam input not working for you? Uh, no, no, it isn't. Uh, so one of the things I will cut a game some slack for is, okay, so you're not letting me rebind controls, but most of the controls are fine, and if you are a controller-focused game, at least let me use the Steam uh, input functionality to remap the uh, buttons that I'm not too happy with. Uh, I also even got a a teeny tiny controller right here. It's blinking right now. Uh, That I got because, you know, my right hand isn't all that big. And like this, I can actually reach all the buttons. Uh, This game, on the other hand, changing the controller layout uh, on Steam's uh, controller configuration makes fucking all difference. The game itself has no rebindable controls. There is no way to change uh, anything through Steam. Uh, It doesn't support the keyboard. Uh, Acceleration is R2, or right trigger, whichever. The default key to paint is A, and if I, with my right hand, am trying to reach for both R2 and A, this game caused me wrist pain while trying to play it. It's one chair. Ben? Wow. What? <laughs> I Listen, uh, man, you got to put me to there, sleep buddy. during those segments, man. Uh, no, check this business out. Uh, what does it do? Zero, zero keyboard support, ladies and gentlemen. That's the thing. So get used to it. I mean, you can't even escape. The only keyboard support this has is the Vulcan nerve pinch. You can throw it an Alt F4 and it will respond accordingly. Steam controller works out of the box. No issues there. Uh, logically laid out. Fortunately, since like Pedro pointed out, you can't fucking rebind anything because this is 2018. Question mark. 
So yeah, yeah. Uh, solid three on that. But yeah, you you, you kind of ding it because guess what? If your Steam controller times out, the only way out of the game is with that Alt F four. Uh, so I tried this play out with uh, both the du- uh, Bluetooth paired Dual sh- or uh, Steam controller as well as the uh, DualShock 4. Got so many props. It's great. Um, everything's, like Ben said, laid out logically. Uh, right trigger, accelerate. A, a paint, although you can't really tell if you're painting or not, other than the fact that all of a sudden you'll randomly go fast for some reason. Uh, yeah, well, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a solid 4. I mean, the, the, this, the controls are not where I take fault with the game, but we'll get to that. Hmm. In the next section, so that's two chairs. Troll, up next. Fun. Ben, do you have fun? I'm going to take this, man. Check this. A single player has a few tracks artificially inflated because they kind of count mirrored and reversed as additional tracks. Mm-hmm. Plus, you get the uh, benefit of some brain-dead AI. Uh, forever Alone mode can get very lonely because um, multiplayer, it's basically just non-existent for this title. I do have cross-platform play enabled. And basically, I set up a lobby and I waited, just like a honeypot, tried to get it in there before the pre-pre-super shows. And turns out I couldn't do it because the Steam controller times out after 15 minutes of me waiting in the lobby. Still no matches. Didn't happen. Um, As Jordan pointed out, primary game mechanic, and I mentioned in the working, the painting the track is still borked on this end. And I'm running 1710. It's not a crazy moon distribution. Uh, it seems to be rendering that glitch, causing that paint for 24-7. You don't know where you could boost. You don't know where you can. Later in the game, that boost is required to win. And good luck telling what is and what is not real. Um, so, there's that. That's reality and what it's about. So, I think this last part, I kind of want to talk to the developers. Maybe not the publishers, but the developers. Because I really want you to listen to what I'm about to say kind of hard as you fucking can. You lot want 30 wet, stinky American caches for this. Do you know what $30 is? Question mark. Because I need to explain to you. Uh, to me, that's $10 more than fucking Rocket League. Okay? Mm-hmm. A-, a game that people who don't even like racing games or car game. Fucking Jordan plays it. It doesn't have a bad time. This has none of those features. None. What this is, Brad, at the end of the day, is $10 more than Rocket League. And that's really all that matters. That's what people are going to see when they look at this. So I'm going to say, you know, if and when you manage to unfuck this hot mess, uh, at least on the Linux version, you're going to have a really fun little derp around racing game. That multiplayer, you can get people in and uh, have some fun with it. But I think this is something that falls like squarely in the $9.99 evil when it does handstands bracket uh and you could build a nice little community with that because seriously man whoever decided on this price point for something that it's well done it's competently done but it's not sliced chainsaws man it's kind of incompetent in their job or even worse malicious trying to tank this because this has not picked up any steam whatsoever so you know current state and I feel safe saying this, is you, you get one chair because the game's still broken and it's been out almost a week now. Honestly, I mean, as, as far as racist games go, it's, it's all right. That's about all I can say. You got to paint the ground. Like, I, I somehow was able to win against the pants on head retarded AI. So, you know, it makes me feel super confident and good at the game when really it's just, you know, the AI is really, really dumb. Makes me feel like a real smarty. Um... Yeah, so you basically drive around, slam into walls, paint stuff. I guess they got the Splatoon thing going for it. A Splatoon was a racing game. Mm-hmm. Uh, there, yeah, there's just a lot of dialogue in this game that I just don't care about and end up skipping past. Uh, it really makes me want to uh, race through it. Some some real trailblazing humor right there. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I don't have much to say about this game. It's a mediocre racing game. I don't absolutely hate it in the same capacity that I hate, say, F1 or Derp Rally. Actually, I kind of like Derp Rally, because at least I was starting to get the hang of Derp Rally. This is just square within that meh category, and I can't really do much about that, so I'll give it two chairs. Yeah. 
Again, playing this game caused me physical pain and forced me to consider that grippy thing, that mechanical claw that uh, Tim uh, mentioned in last week's hate You just mail. need a dialing wand. I need something because this game, even with a teeny tiny controller, reminded me of my own shortcomings as a human being. Well, the physical ones anyway. Uh, I don't think it would have helped much, but, you know, maybe having a way to actually play this game that the way that developers wanted me to, because there's no way in hell I'm going to play it how I want it to, because they don't let me rebind controls. Well, it wouldn't have been such a slap in the face for people like myself who have less than ideal right hands to have an option to rebind those keys. But hey, that's not what we got. Remember last week when I wondered if uh, it would be too much to ask if this game didn't suck? I think they were listening. They were listening and decided to make it the worst possible game for me specifically. Also, 30 pounds is not the same as $30. 30 pounds is like $36. What the fuck kind of pricing model is that? One chair. It's a, it's a bold strategy, Cotton. That's called fuck you, give me money. Yeah, and that's uh, yeah. one chair for fun. This this uh, trail brothers trail brazzers trail brazzers uh, streaks by <laughs> yeah, streaks by with a uh, two chairs uh, that uh, that's another show title for you at least um, I said it during the episode uh, I'm gonna pose this question yeah. Let, let's say this goes ninety five percent off would you recommend picking it up then for like six eh? pounds sure hmm. yeah. Not yeah. 30, though. Fuck that. All right. I don't know. I know it's going to have a rough time because I even checked in the forums. There, there's not even people white knighting this thing. So there That's is that. So good. You got a half yeah. decent little arcade racer hidden under this. So just keep that in mind. Yeah, there is a game hidden under all these issues. They have to do something about them, though. Pedro, you should just be grateful I mean, and accept what. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Haven't you learned anything? You're Linux. You don't get to complain if the game sucks. All right, <laughs> let's suck on that. Yeah, you, you, we we really don't. Just like this podcast, it sucks. 